In this video, we're going to be checking out this really high quality tripod from Siuri and of course doing some toy photography indoor and outdoor just to see if this thing really is good for toy photography. Hey everyone, so I have this really cool tripod that was sent to me from Siriu. Siri, Siri, Siri. I'm really sorry, I'm probably saying that wrong. So Siri is actually a really well-known brand that makes a lot of really high quality camera equipment and anamorphic lenses, uh, lots of really cool stuff. This right here is actually a monopod that has a bunch of really cool attachments that uh, I wanna review and I wanna see if it's really good for toy photography. So thanks so much Siri for sending this over. Let's see what this thing can do. And I think this will, without a doubt, be an absolutely amazing tripod, but the question is, is it going to be good for toy photography? That's the real question. And if you are interested in this or any series products, just head to the link in my description and see what's all on there. This thing is awesome. It feels like a monster, like a beast. So if you look at this thing on their website, it's really made for traveling along on like walks and uh, for nature photography, stuff like that, it's very portable. It's made with carbon fiber, which makes it really light. Feels good, but yeah, it does feel pretty light. But the thing, if I do this correctly, that made me really interested is the fact that it can go into this kind of small tripod thing like this. There we go. And that is a lot more what I'm used to with toy photography. So my goal with this and my hopes and dreams is for this part of the tripod to be like perfect for what I like to do, sticking it on the ground, toy photography outside. This feels so strong. And then I'm hoping also that this will be really great for me to attach on and then use this for like tabletop photos, kind of like like do right here on this, this counter all the time. I'm really hoping that that will be the plan. Let's just check this thing out and see what it does. Well, I'm kind of someone that likes to buy like kind of cheap but kind of okay still halfway cheap quality kinds of tripods and I end up buying multiple of them after they end up breaking and this seems like something that you will have for I don't know years because uh, it is really sturdy. This right here feels really good and the little ball joint here feels super stiff. Um, and it just feels good to pull, you know what I mean? And there's these nice little locks over here that you can push in like that. And you can move it to a taller mode, kind of like that. Get it a little bit taller and then you're all set. And then this right here, this is something that you can kind of clip right on top. Just pull this thingy down and then it's in there and that's how you can mount it to your camera. So if I stick my camera on there just like that, I'm all set for a nice wide toy photo, just like that. And also, all I gotta do is curve it, just like that. And we're good for getting nice and low to the ground. This is my Canon 250D with a 50 millimeter on it, so it's a decently weighted camera, I guess, and it's able to hold it. You can even get a little bit lower all the way down to the ground. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's pretty nice. So as you see in a lot of my other videos, I shoot right on this counter right here all the time. And I kind of put my tripod on the ground down here and then shoot using my counter as the surface. And it's a great little spot, I love this spot. And so what I'm hoping for is that monopod being able to fit just right on that table. So then it can be kind of like a great tabletop tripod as well, it can be both. I don't need to have a big tripod and a little one, I just have this one. So um, I'm gonna just open that up and just see what it's like. And then, yeah. So I should be able to just pop this off, still attached to the mount, and then pop this in. Nicely done. Now I should just be able to pop this on, like that. And so while it's on here like this, I can kind of adjust like I want. And uh, I see how this is totally awesome for bringing with you on a nature walk and you're taking photos and you just need to move it around like that's cool and so yeah this thing goes way up all these ways i know i'm going way off camera here but this thing can go i think like six feet or something so yeah this thing can go very tall that's that's almost as tall as me let me see this might be really handy for when i'm filming youtube videos it's a little shorter 
So I'm 6'1", so that's pretty tall. So one other cool thing that I'm not really sure I will get much use out of, but I do think it's cool. Pop this out. You've got a nice little camera stand, and there's this nice little rubber peg thingy that you can use, and then now it's really a monopod. So if you need to, whatever. It's cool. And it's even got a little spike on the bottom, too, that you can kind of spin in and spin out. So as expected, this is definitely a super, whoa, super quality piece of equipment. Definitely seems like it's worth how much it's priced at. Uh, but yeah, the question is, is it good for toy photography? I think this definitely will be. Um, this, not sure, but uh, let's go test it out. I wanna go take a shot with this one first outside. I've got a great idea. I'm gonna go to my favorite spot, take a shot, uh, and then let's come back here uh, and take a taller shot on some surface here, like you're shooting indoor, uh, you know, tabletop diorama kind of style. So, uh, yeah, let's go do that. So I'm here at my favorite spot, sandy spot, and I've got the Mandalorian, and I've got a dark trooper and little Grogu, and this nice little Beskar spear I made out of a wooden skewer that I painted silver. Uh, and I've got a really cool action-packed idea I'm gonna set up and then see how this tripod works out. So my 85 millimeter lens that I've got here is actually pretty heavy. And so it was kind of tipping over with the weight going all the way on one side like this, which is, any tripod would do that. <laughs> but so I kind of shoved this part in the ground a little bit to kind of hold it up and that worked. So uh, if I didn't do that, I feel like it probably would just be tipping over. I think that's just because of how heavy that lens is. If it was just more, like my 40 millimeter or something smaller, uh, that would have definitely been a little bit different. Okay, this is actually kind of a difficult setup here. So we've got Mando holding the spear and he's stabbing the dark trooper in the neck lifting him in the air, taking him out, and Grogu's jumping along behind him for support. It's a great scene. <laughs> of course, I've got this fantastic end of the day lighting. I mean, look at that. And look at the way that it's casting the shadows on the ground and stuff and everything. And of course, as per usual, I've got my light reflector, and I'm gonna use that to bounce some light around and kick up a little bit of dirt to uh, show a little bit of action going on and hopefully it all comes out okay but as far as my tripod goes I'm actually quite happy with it I ended up uh, adjusting it a little bit still sticking in the in the ground a little bit more and then actually putting the whole entire thing on a slant so the photo itself is kind of on an angle which uh, works out great so I, as far as tripods go for this small type of thing here I'm very happy this is uh, this is exactly what I could want and you know if I wasn't turning it on the side to get a vertical photo it would not be a problem at all. Hopefully the photo comes out okay, so uh, let's actually take the photo now. Okay, so uh, we're back home and uh, I've got everything kind of set up here. Uh, and it's kind of just like a fun counter shot with figure interacting with real life objects kind of thing, you know. So we've got Deadpool right here and he's just kind of pointing at this glass like a goofball. I have this can of Coke and I'm just going to pour it in just like that and capture it as it's being poured. I've got lighting here to light my hand. And of course, I've got a bunch of light behind him and over here. I've got overkill with light, but uh, I want my shutter speed fast because I'm gonna be pouring something. So that's why I got a little more light than needed. Let's talk about this tripod. Here we go. I've got it right here. And the monopod is looking pretty good. Right, Toxin? Hey, buddy. So the monopod is uh, just kind of chilling just like this. And I did get it at the perfect height because of this. Hey, buddy. <laughs> and so uh, it's actually acting really well. 
uh, and it's pretty sturdy. You know, I was thinking for having such a small base and such a tall thing, it'd be a little wobbly, but it's pretty sturdy. There's one downside. There's one thing that kind of stinks is so when I'm trying to get the right angle here to this, I don't really have any movability here besides the swivel going side to side. Down here is where the ball is. So if I want to adjust this, I have to go all the way down here and adjust way down there to get what I want. Uh, and that's a little bit kind of difficult for what I'm trying to do here. I know that they have attachments that you can add to the top here so it can add a little bit of a ball to move it around here like that. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna go and take this shot now and hopefully this <laughs> turns out okay with the, uh, the liquid and everything. What's the final verdict on this awesome tripod monopod from Siri? Well, it's without question a super high quality and versatile piece of equipment for a lot of different things. But is it specifically good for toy photography? Well, yeah, it can be. If it wasn't missing a couple things like a ball joint on the top, I really do think this would be the perfect all-in-one tripod that I would use all the time. But objectively, that doesn't mean I don't think this thing is really cool and I'm actually really happy about it. And I definitely plan to get some use out of it. So Siri, thank you so much for sending it. If you are interested in one of these, please head to the link in the description or just go to Siri.com. And please, if you enjoyed the video, drop a quick like, that would be fantastic. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video. See ya. Thank you.